Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's super important yet often misunderstood, depression. Whether you're struggling with it yourself or supporting someone who is, understanding depression can make a huge difference. So let's break it down into manageable pieces, symptoms, causes, and ways to tackle it. What is depression? Depression isn't just feeling sad or down for a day. It's a serious mental health condition that affects your thoughts, feelings, and overall well-being. Imagine your favorite color suddenly turning gray, and no matter what you do, it just doesn't seem to come back. That's kind of what depression feels like for many people. Symptoms of depression. Depression manifests in various ways, and it can look different from person to person. But here are some common symptoms you might notice. Persistent sadness. Feeling down or empty most of the time. Loss of interest. Losing interest in activities you once enjoyed, like hobbies or hanging out with friends. Fatigue. Feeling constantly tired or drained, even after a full night's sleep. Sleep changes. Either sleeping too much or having trouble falling asleep. Appetite changes. Eating too much or too little, leading to weight gain or loss. Difficulty concentrating. Finding it hard to focus on tasks or make decisions. Feelings of worthlessness. Having a harsh inner critic and feeling like you're not good enough. Thoughts of death. Experiencing thoughts about dying or self-harm. If you're experiencing several of these symptoms for more than two weeks, it might be time to seek help. What causes depression? Depression doesn't have a single cause. It's often a combination of factors. Genetics. A family history of depression can increase your risk. Brain chemistry. Imbalances in brain chemicals like serotonin and dopamine can affect mood. Life events. Stressful life events such as trauma, loss, or major changes can trigger depression. Medical conditions. Certain illnesses or chronic conditions can contribute to depressive symptoms. Personality traits. People with certain personality traits, like low self-esteem or high levels of anxiety, might be more susceptible. How to overcome depression. If you or someone you know is dealing with depression, know that it's possible to manage and overcome it. Here are some steps that can help. Seek professional help. A mental health professional, such as a psychologist or psychiatrist, can provide therapy or medication options. Build a support system. Surround yourself with supportive friends and family who understand what you're going through. Stay active. Regular physical activity can boost your mood and energy levels. Even a daily walk can make a difference. Eat well. A balanced diet can have a positive impact on your mood and overall health. Sleep well. Try to maintain a consistent sleep schedule and create a relaxing bedtime routine. Set small goals. Breaking tasks into smaller manageable steps can help you feel more accomplished and motivated. Practice self-care. Engage in activities that you find enjoyable and relaxing. This could be anything from reading a book to taking a long bath. Remember, overcoming depression is a journey and it's okay to ask for help along the way. If you or someone you know is in immediate danger, reach out to emergency services or a crisis hotline. That's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. And as always, take care of yourselves and each other. See you in the next video.